Sorry. So do you want me to do it again? Do it again, it wasn't recording. Let's go. <laughs> so on a minor chord have the a, a, a nice voicing, for example, is the flat seven, ninth, third, eleventh, and fifth. And then you can sort of put that anywhere. So that, that kind of sounds a lot more interesting than just Yeah, that's the basic minor chord. Loads more interesting. Yeah. Added the flat seven. You, you don't you don't use the tonic of the ninth instead, and the third, and the eleventh, and the fifth, as opposed to that, which is really right. Yeah. And then with a was it with a dominant chord? No, with a major chord. Uh, so that's the original triad. Yeah. The first one you'd add is the major seven, and then you can add the thirteenth or the ninth. Both sound quite nice. So that's with the thirteenth, and with the ninth is. So that's quite a nice kind of bright sound. Or with both would be. So when you're doing these extended ones, you never put the, the, the tonic in? Um, no, you don't in the right hand because if you because yeah. it would usually be in the bass, so you don't put the tonic. Okay. And then with a the dominant chord, uh, dominant is where it gets really interesting because so, so that's the major, that's the dominant. So you've got flat seven, three, five. Then if you add the thirteenth, that usually sounds quite good. Or, that's the 13th and 9th. Uh, <clears throat> and, and you can also add the sharp 11, which sounds quite interesting. Um, with the 13th, it sounds quite cool. And then if you add like, then you get into this whole thing of altered chords, which is where you alter every note except for the tonic, 3rd and 7th. Okay. So for example, you have, there are different flavours of altered chords, so um, so those are the only two that you keep the same. Every other note. So if, if you have the flat nine, it creates that, and it, it wants to resolve to. Do you see what I mean? Um, I'll do that again. So it wants to resolve to. Um, nice. Or, so flat nine. Sharp nine is an interesting one. The Jimi Hendrix chord. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's also a dominant chord, but it's a the sharp nine. And then you've got the. They all have a slightly different flavour. The sharp, sharp eleven. And then sharp five. So, and then you can have one that just has all of them in. That kind of thing. So that's flat seven, uh, flat nine, sharp nine, third. Um, what was that? That's the flat 13. So that's quite a crunchy one. Also wants to go to... So once again, I'll try and do it again. If you're really good, you could voice these better. It's like, yeah, those are the main ones that you would add extensions to, really. There's diminished chords and stuff, which I don't really know much about. Um, uh, yeah, man, this is... Just, just have some fun. Uh, don't feel under pressure. Sure, yeah. I'll just play all the sounds that I like. Say, say we'll go, so, to, so we're in F major, so, oh no, so the two, chord 2 would be G minor, and I'm doing this, this is the classic voicing I always do, 7, 9, 3, 11, 5, so 2, and then to 5, only one note difference, in the 
the right hand. So that's a. Uh, actually, hold on, no, I'm in the wrong key. So, so if we're in F major, this is chord three. Three. That's that's a three nice. three six two five progression. It's a really common jazz thing. And then down to one. So and then what they were doing in that thing, they were going like instead of going three six, they were going three six with the tritone. So, so the same chord, but just the bass note is just tritone. That's the interval, yeah. and it gives this. So this is this is this is what the original three six two five three six two five uh, one and then there's the other one three try to sub six two five you can do it again you go three Functional chord progression. That's, that's the sort of shit I like. Yeah. It's just minor chords moving around. And so 
so many, so many like. So, It's nice to occasionally chuck in a slightly different chord type. So if you do like a, a good one is a, a, a minor five to one. So that so in this say case with five would be B flat to E minor and flat you'd have a flat nine or so it's a dominant chord with a flat nine. Uh, hold on. So you've got flat seven, flat nine, um, major third, fifth. Re resolves really nicely to So this is the stuff I've been trying to find out. Yeah, no, yeah. no one's like, don't know. Uh, yeah, I would have. Um, I was. Yeah, this, this is exactly the sounds that I've really. Lo I always really love as well. Just so it happened that they um, they they kind of teach you what it all is.